Mousetrap Farm in southern Belgium will forever be associated with the Second Battle of Ypres. Known to British soldiers as Shelltrap Farm, it marked the front line in the battle which occurred in April and May 1915 as the Germans sought to use poison gas to take the town of Ypres from the British. Mousetrap Farm was strategically important because of its proximity to Ypres. By the end of the battle, it was a heap of ruins. It was also the location of one of the worst days for Irish regiments in the First World War. Since rebuilt, evidence remains today of the terrible events of a hundred years ago. On the morning of the 24th of May 1915, the Germans deployed artillery shells filled with poisonous chlorine gas for the first time on the 10th Brigade of the 4th Division of the British Army, which included the Royal Dublin Fusiliers, the 2nd Battalion, were almost completely annihilated. Just 20 men out of 650 uh, were at stand to the following day. The farm here is still a working farm. It's two and a half miles outside the city centre. The Germans tried to break through these lines because of its proximity to Ypres, which was their real goal. They didn't succeed in this, but they did succeed in taking Mousetrap Farm. Mousetrap Farm is also um, a place of great sorrow for the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Irish Regiment, uh, which was also decimated here. And its most famous casualty was John Condon, Private John Condon from Waterford City, who was just 14 years of age at the time. And he's listed as the youngest British soldier to die in the First World War. Well, all that remains of the Irish presence at Mousetrap Farm is this uh, two plaques behind me. This one is in bronze and this is a wooden plaque. And they're in memory of William Byrne of the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Dublin Fusiliers. And underneath here is Sergeant William Malone. Now, Sergeant William Malone's brother was volunteer Michael Malone, who was involved in the Battle of Mount Street Bridge. Uh, a year after uh, the Battle of Mousetrap Farm. So you have two brothers, one who was killed fighting for the British Army and one who was killed fighting against the British Army. And I think this little plaque here gives you some idea of the complexity of Irish history at that time. The body of Sergeant William Malone was never found. His name and those of 143 other Royal Dublin Fusiliers who died at Mousetrap Farm are on the new Men and Gate Memorial to the Missing in Ypres. Less than a year later in South Dublin, death was to visit the Malone family again. This is 25 Northumberland Road. Here, William Malone's brother, Lieutenant Michael Malone, and one other volunteer, Seamus Grace, occupied this house during Easter week. And on Wednesday, the 26th of April, they ambushed some Sherwood foresters who had just come off the boat uh, at Dunleary and were coming, passing through Ballsbridge on their way to uh, relieve the British Army who were already fighting uh, the rebellion here in Dublin. They inflicted uh, huge casualties on uh, the Sherwood Foresters as they uh, arrived in Dublin. Uh, they were very inexperienced troops. Uh, some of them had only six weeks training. They couldn't even fire a rifle. Michael Malone uh, died that evening. Uh, he was shot on the stairs of this house and he's buried in Glasnevin Cemetery. And this plaque behind me was erected in his memory some years after the rebellion. William Malone still works as a sculptor. His family story is like that of many Irish families where competing loyalties divide brother from brother. While I was in uh, Belgium, there, 2005 or six thereabouts, uh, the Office of Public Works gave me commission to produce bronze plaques for, uh, for the, um, the Peace Park, the Irish Peace Park in Belgium. And uh, it was just a few miles from where uh, my grandfather was killed. 
So went down to have a look and so on. And uh, it was nice, very nice that my work would bring me to the place where my, my grandfather's died. So there we are. That's my, what we call that in the family, it's, it's known as the Big Penny. And um, I've done a few editions of it and some members of the family have copies. So I've done copies for, for, for people who ask, who, who are interested. So, so there we are. What? That's it. My dad did that. It's been in the family for, oh, since the 50s at least. And uh, it's a, as, as you can see, it's Michael Malone, uh, William's brother. So it's, it's my dad's uncle, Michael. So there we are.